Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, this is Amir Rashid and you are watching my YouTube channel Sora Venue. Today uh, we will talk about this design. The actual Google image of a solar power plant 545 kilowatts. And uh, how many solar inverters uh, we have used there, how many solar panels and how many strings are there. And uh, how this design uh, has been created uh, in Snaker. All the details, all the discussions uh, will be revealed in the latter uh, coming session. Uh, so before starting, if you are uh, new to my channel, you are requested to subscribe my channel and share it to others. Uh, so let's dive in. Open uh, Google Earth and uh, find your location uh, where you want to install your solar plant or solar uh, project. And uh, here I already uh, open uh, this location. And uh, the point of notice uh, is this, that uh, we uh, must know uh, its parameter, it means its length and width. And uh, if you uh, take reference from this line, you can uh, draw up, there, up till this road, 102 meters. So note it down. 102 meters, uh, 102 meters, uh, it's uh, width and uh, length uh, up till this tree, 72 meters, 72.8 meters. So now you can write 72.8 meters, it's length. Okay, uh, these two points have been noticed. And uh, so now you can take this uh, snipping shot. Uh, I'm using here a snipping tool uh, for this uh, screenshot. From here, drag this up to this road and from this tree. You can uh, see this. Yes. So uh, save this design into library where you want to uh, use for your working here. I am using this point uh, solar plant uh, 545 kilo watt power. Okay. Uh, one most important thing uh, you have to notice uh, uh, this uh, offset area around the solar power plant uh, by using this parameter. It's a uh, hundred meter and uh, it's about seventy meter. So and now you can put this design into sketcher. And how to put this design into sketcher? Uh, we just erase this our working and uh, start new working created yeah. its rectangular uh, area uh, here we will uh, put our design uh, how we can put this open this file tab and press import and locate your file and import it uh, first of all i will import this press uh, i will place this here and scale it and uh, move it on this area and drag this okay scale this again okay. now you can see this area has been scaled with your rectangular uh, drawing so now this is the actual area of solar power plant you can verify this uh, and how you can verify this uh, you can measure uh, its length dimension from there to there 102 and from there to there 7218 so now uh, we have this is this area for designing Now you can uh, draw lines 
of the area you can select the area where you will be placing your solar panels something like this this, this is the area where you will be placing your solar panels and just uh, copy it and move here and you can delete this these lines width of this power plant uh, all the area all the platforms uh, length could be measured here from this uh, tool Twenty two point seven two and thirty fifty three point two five fifty fifty two point nine three fifty two point nine three fifty two point nine three or and three point two five. 23.25 so take the line 23.25 this one is 23.25 This is the first platform here, and uh, you will be having this in rows uh, on this platform. So, how we can put 16 rows over there? And just press and just select its area and uh, Press the Scalian Insert Solar Panel Components. Uh, here uh, we have used 10 degrees tilt. Uh, uh, we have used Jinpo 550 uh, Watt Solar Panel. You can change this uh, uh, as User PV Database or Scalian PV Database. Uh, in Scalian PV Database, uh, you already uh, have uh, uh, some solar panels, a vast list of solar panels that uh, if you want to use uh, them in your project. But uh, in PV, uh, user PV module base, uh, you have to create your own. And how uh, to create your own, you can use uh, this tab of Scalian. Edit user database. Uh, for example, you want to create uh, a solar panel cleaner, and uh, its model is 550. Uh, its length, whatever the length is, uh, actual length is. I am just writing 2.278, 1.134, 1.134. I have to write here meters. This is 30, uh, 30 mm, uh, means 0 0.03 meter. And uh, its power is 550 watts and its weight is uh, 30 kg. And uh, you have to uh, select its uh, pipe, crystalline, crystalline, silicone, and choose one of the texture. I'm using solar text to and save that. Okay. Close this and now you can use here your own solar panel. Uh, Trina 550. Here you can see all the details of the solar panel you provided earlier is mentioned here. But uh, in this project we have used Jinko 550. Uh, and uh, so I'm using same panel here. And uh, maximum number of panels inserted. 
uh, we have we are required 256 uh, in this platform and uh, this calculation is uh, like this uh, we have installed 16 strings of uh, 18 panels 16 strings of 16 bands 16 strings of 16 bands 256 uh, we have used uh, 16 strings of 16 panels uh, over there and we can run near shading report uh, this one sunny area but before this you have to select the surface at which you want to uh, find shading area so just click in that glow button button and calculate joint shadows uh, it will take uh, some time and uh, uh, the result will be in front of you uh, with the maximum row spacing required for this tilt and uh, this will uh, help you out uh, for your designs as well uh, and uh, if you want to install uh, you can uh, run this uh, shading analysis so the row spacing will be confirmed uh, for your uh, project so if you like my video uh, you are requested uh, to subscribe uh, and share it to others so power plant first inverter uh, of 256 uh, solar panels and we have uh, just uh, its uh, pitch so uh, you can uh, there are two options uh, one it is all the solar panels and uh, provide the pitch and uh, or uh, move one uh, row uh, one by one and uh, your work will also be completed but uh, here uh, i'm doing this by removing these all solar panels from this platform and uh, and, uh next platform so these all solar panels have been removed from here uh, and place solar panels uh, over here First of all, uh, same data, 10 degrees tilled, same panel, uh, here 256 solar panels uh, are required and uh, you know I'm taking 5 mm gap, so up to the mark and which is 3 meter and press 100. Now you can notice that this uh, all the panels are equally distributed one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen one two three four five sixteen uh rows we have got here uh, each of 16 panels 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 16. Uh, so we have 256 solar panels uh, over here uh, in this platform. So uh, we can only just copy and paste it. We have got all the four solar panels but uh you know first and second inverter we have got 256 solar panels uh but uh, we have got only 18 uh strings so we have to remove last uh string from uh third and fourth inverter so we have got uh, 256, 256 and uh, 16 panel from 256 uh, that will result of 240, 240, 240, 256, 256. So uh, we uh, 256 plus 256 plus 240 plus 240. 
there are nine ninety two solar panels each of five eighty watts. So we have got five forty five point six kilowatt DC uh, PV power uh, of this plant. So uh, we have installed uh, the replica of this structure over here. We can also uh, put this. Uh, Uh, we have to select all one and uh, we can make uh, it as group uh, PV models. Okay, and uh, now we can copy it from here to here. Uh, this one. We have placed our solar plant uh, on this area and now. Uh, again, uh, you can uh, create form which is uh, created for on the reference purposes. So, it can be removed and you can see the result over here in front of you. A little bit of uh, adjustment may be uh, incorporated we can do also this uh, selecting all solar panels and uh, moving them a little bit okay okay uh, these all rows are uh, So, take this as well. So, how, this is how you can uh, put a replica, you can draw a sketch of design uh, for your existing solar plant, or you can design it before uh, you are executing your solar uh, plant. So uh, this is for all uh, today's video and I hope uh, you will like my effort and uh, will for more improvement and uh, if you liked my video uh, you are requested to subscribe my channel. We will meet you into another video. Till then Allah Hafiz. This is Amir Rashid and you are watching my YouTube channel. Salaam Alaikum.